All right, so I just pulled up to a home and I am going to go to I am going to go around the house and replace a bunch of wood rot. There's some cedar siding in different locations of the home that are rotted that I'm going to replace different parts and sections of them. Uh, there's a few trim boards that I'm also going to be replacing and I will be repainting all of the replaced parts. So got all my tools set up, uh, ready to grab and go. Got all my batteries lined up, ready for a charge. And so I'm gonna go around the house and do it to it. So some of my favorite tools. These are some of the tools that I use for wood rot replacement. They're absolutely essential. So let's get started and I'll show you as I go. All right, so first up is I have a piece of siding right here underneath the window that's going to come out. And I've actually drawn a line right here that this part onward is good and this part up till there's a crease right there. Up until this joint right here where it butts in, I will be replacing just this small little section right here. And so, the tools that I use to do that. Speed screw and a pencil. My oscillating vibration tool that I use to cut the line. The reason I use this is because it gets a nice, really clean cut versus a sawzall where the cut is a lot more jagged and rugged and not as clean. <laughs> The next two, the next three tools that I use, is my hammer, my pry bar. This is a wonder bar. This is really amazing, and it's better than this bar. This one, I enjoyed this one a whole lot better, a whole lot more, a whole lot. <laughs> anyway. And then my third tool is this pry bar nail puller. This one is for more delicate type pulling. You could also use a putty knife. I use a putty knife every now and then, but not in this moment. Alright, so I got my new piece in there and got it caulked. And even though I don't use the sawzall for cutting the fine, finer cuts, it is good for cutting the nails that are actually holding on to the siding behind the board. At the same time, a lot of times this screw, this nail here is tied into the bottom one. So it doesn't matter if you cut it off right here, it's still gonna be holding on. So the best way to do this is to go ahead and pull these out. This one's ready to go. So it comes out. But this one's in there and I don't want to damage this. This thing is used really good to dig down in there and pry it on out, but I want to delicately get it out. So this is how I do it. So pull it, pull it out a little bit and then push it back in. Well, it didn't work that time. Usually it works the first shot. As you pull it out, push it back in and the nail 
starts to work his way out a little bit. There it is. There you go. So I'm outside this home that I just painted the front door the first coat. I still have another coat to put on there. But, so I'm installing this storm door right here, see? It's brand new. This is what the old one looked like. Similar, but the old one was wood. And there's a lot of other features on there that were just really old. But I'm sitting here on this porch and I feel, I keep feeling dizzy. Like I'm off balance. And it's kind of, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I'm like, man, why am I so dizzy? And I think the reason why is the house is, the house is sitting like this instead of like this. And the only way to make sure is to grab my level and level it. supposed to be like this it's like this let's see about this good god so you can see how much out of balance it is that's how much off it is So in conclusion, there is nothing wrong with my equilibrium. I'm doing okay.